anybody who is related to any incident involving this uh, this amber amber thing is considered an amber. So that's why I say, coming back to that issue, that every anglophone seems to be an Amazonian. Okay, uh, but what is the situation uh, back there in the northwest? You're coming from there. As as we, since I am moving, I always find out information about what is happening. The related information I'm receiving is that the kidnappings have have been upgraded in town. They are using not motorcycles again, but cars. Okay. And that the situation is becoming more precarious for anybody. This is this is what we are living now. So we are not. We don't know. It is unfortunate. That is why we ought to have had frank dialogue. There is nothing wrong, Mr. Leonard, in uh, having put on a beautiful house or a, a house that architectural design proved that the, the architect intended it to be a beautiful house. But then along the line, you discover that the foundation that was laid for that house is somewhat defective. There is nothing wrong. There is no crime committed for you to go back and revisit the foundation of that house to make it solid. In order that we can add even more flaws. Is that, that, is that, that the panacea you are prescribing? That is what I'm prescribing because we have fundamental constitutional problems in Cameroon. Our constitution must reflect how this country came to be constructed. Our constitution must reflect the construction, the initial construction, the mindset of the people who built this country. But we are doing some lip service. We are paying lip service. We are telling lies over historical facts like the today's uh, uh, the 11th February is celebrated as a youth day. I ask myself the question, why choose only 11th February, which is a historic date for a people? Why choose only that day to make it a youth day? Meanwhile, you have 365 other days or 364 other days from which you could have chosen a different day for the youth, for the youth day. Even if it was celebrated from the onset as an error. Is it not necessary that we do correct some of those things as the problems keep cropping up? Because what is happening now in the Northwest and Southwest region, Mr. Mr. Leonard, people may call it an Anglophone problem, but it has morphed from an Anglophone problem to Southern Cameroonian, Southern Cameroon's renaissance. Okay. Um, did you listen to the address uh, to the youth by uh, the President of the Republic? Yeah, uh, I didn't listen because what I expect of him on the eve of an 11, of a, of a historic date like 11 February, and knowing exactly how this country came to be constructed to be what it is today, what I expected from a head of state is rather the State of the Union address. Mm. State of the Union address, where we examine how the distance we've covered, how far we have gone to build confidence okay, in the plebiscite, the because that is the event, there's a historic event that took place on a day like this, on 11 February. So he is supposed to address the nation on the state of the Union. How far have we gone? What are the errors we have committed? How can we right those wrongs in order that we can continue building a wonderfully solid, one and indivisible, truly one and indivisible nation? But we don't build a nation to be, to be one and indivisible through slogans. We can we do policies because we don't mean the same words if my history lessons correctly and some of the facts which I lived because I'm some I'm a post independent a middle post independent and, uh, and a child Cameroonian was born middle after independence I lived some of some of the some of the situations before they disappeared. What the Anglophone has suffered is that they have been brought they have been sent backward to pre independence uh, scenario. That is they have lost all what gave them confidence in their own, in themselves. These are people who have had, I ask questions, there are questions, a list of questions which I have filed at the Senate, Senate, Senate Secretariat for transmission to the relevant ministries. To ask, what are the tickle wolf that was there yesterday, saving uh, in the southern Cameroons, whereby banana was uh, shipped to, to England. People used to enter ship there and go to England, where they used to, used to anchor ships and they used to even do, do, do ship repairs there. Whether the people of Southwest, in particular, the people of Tico in particular, and Southwest and, and Northwest at, at large, they have gained anything by closing that uh, Tico Wharf or the Tico uh, seaport and, 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 and enforcing, reviving Douala or making Douala where they have to 
collect their goods? Have they made their lives better or have they made it worse off? I ask that question to the Minister of Transport. I ask whether the Tico International Airport that used to exist, which has now become, which has now been ruined. Whether by closing that airport and making, making it such that people who are from Tico or from Limbe or from Kumba, instead of learning at Tico International Airport that used to be, whether by learning in Douala now, they are better off than they were yesterday. Whether power come that used to generate uh, electricity at uh, Yoke. Whether by, by dismantling the, 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 the electricity uh, installations there at Yoke Dam, at Moyoka there, and transferring it uh, somewhere else, and killing that uh, electricity supply, even for the Moyoka, Moyoka community alone, whether they have made the ban in Moyoka better off than it would have been with, this, with the amount of watts that could be generated there and could take care of their local needs. Whether they have made the man of Moyoka, Moyoka better off than he was before independence. These are the questions that I asked. I asked whether the Santa Coffee Estate that has been destroyed by destroying it and making, make, transferring the equipment and whatsoever east of the Bongo and, uh, and creating, taking it to marketing board to Douala and all one not, and later on it becomes on, 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 on operation, inoperational. Whether they have made the Santa Man, whether they have made the Northwestern better off without the Santa Coffee Estate than, the, than, than when they had it. Certainly the answer is negative. They have made the lives of the people of Norway and Southwest worst off by dismantling those things. So that's what I, I that's, those are the sort of the genesis of the problems that we are having today. The answers to those questions are still awaited from the Minister of Transport whenever they will be sent to him. Please come and address the house and tell us about this population for what they are complaining about. Whether the bank that we had, Cameroon Bank, which was a flourishing bank, which could give more better loan than the one that obtained, obtained in, the, in the former East Cameroon. The people who used to benefit from loans from those banks are better off okay. without that bank. Uh, Senator, uh, Senator um, unfortunately, we we'll have to end uh, the interview at this uh, juncture. We hope uh, that we are going to have another opportunity to have you um, for more than this uh, period. The time and the constraints we've all faced today uh, imposes on us to end at uh, this. Uh, you should job. always create uh, more time for the program so yes. that we can we can. Yeah, I, have, well, I, 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 I hope we, we do that, but uh, certainly you have one last word for the people watching you. No. What, I, what I should People should be frank. People should keep talking. I have been trained to talk uh, as a lawyer. As a member of parliament, people should not expect me to come and be building bridges or to be doing things. Uh, that I'm not a vote holder. A member of parliament is not a vote holder. You should not expect him to come and be doing, giving goodies. That is not the role of a member of parliament. Member of parliament is to talk, check government action. Whether you are of the ruling party or, or, or of the opposition. Your duty, except you are telling Cameroonians that when you are of the ruling party and you are in parliament, you are, you are irrelevant. Because you are supposed to check government action whether you are of the ruling party or not. So they should, people should do their jobs. People should bring out what is not working. And that they should prepare for the transition. Okay. Where some of us will shout at the top of our voices that certain things should never happen again in this country. Okay.